Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue to talk about uh, render in twin motion. So we are not talking about the realistic. So if you want to make the realistic, you want to make like in real life, you should use engines like V-Ray, Corona or something else. Lumen and twin motion, this is other story. This is about the fast and really nice picture, but not realistic. Okay, so let's go to the, mm, the calls. And as you know, the thing what makes your road more realistic, this is the calls. For example, we want to using the zebra cross crossing, for example, from this side to that side, and use, let's use it. As you can see, this is like a texture. Doesn't matter how you will uh, put it, where you will put it, and it automatically will follow your geometry. Let's put it here. here, put it here. Let's rotate it, and we will get now some problem. We get the problem because we have here the different height. Here we have the highest one, here we have lowest one. We can manipulate with that and make it uh, everywhere. We just should use offset. Let's make it offset bigger. And as you can see, this is working. And this is pretty cool because as you can see, this is not geometry. This is like a texture. Okay, we get one. We have one here. Let's rotate it more interesting like this. And I want for example, extend it to here. The nice thing in twin motion that you can copy it. So let's find our uh, zebra is here and just hold the shift key. And for example, uh, let's put it here like this and hold it. And let's make it instance and uh, how many numbers you want. Let's say I want four numbers. You can, uh, uh, you can also change the space. For example, I want to change the space to the three meter. Let's say, okay. And we get a result as you can see, but three meter it's not so uh, not good for us. I think 2.8 it will be enough. Yeah, it's 2.8, and I will make three numbers only. So the last I no need. I will select that and delete. As you can see, we get the call. Really nice. Okay, so let's put the some more decals. For example, the line marking. Yeah, I really like the my line marking. Let's rotate it. And again, as you can see, we cannot see uh, half of them. Just increase the offset and you will see how it's working. You can use the numbers, for example, let's use the one, not we want a minus two. Uh, and yeah, this is what I want. And let's extend it uh, to that side like this. Okay. And I want to make it instance and let's make the six copies. Oh, not 16. I mean, say it's six copies. And we get the line. Of course, our line is going a bit under. So we should a bit extend it. I will extend that one. I will extend this one and just on and on. I'll just find your marks. Here is the my marks. I will delete this one. I don't need it. Where is the my second mark? It's here. Okay, I need it, but actually not. We will make the crossway here. And the last mark is here. Just let's extend it. Okay. So, and we get the line mark, as you can see, the pretty cool. Of course, the, we get some uh, problems here the, with connections. So we can uh, do it po like post-production. For example, after you will place, you can just a bit move it and check it out how it look like. Let's check it. Where is that? Let's, let's, let's change the position of that. It's really easy. It's not takes really much time. But after that, you will get really nice result. So let's make it here and last one on this side. Of course, if you're using, for example, like a 3D Max first, you will do it in 3D Max. But if you're not, you will use these decals inside in Twin Motion. So I will just use the Shift key and I will place it on this side. As you can see, I will make it instance and I'll change the angle of that. As you can see, it's working. Um, not pretty nice as I no, as I want. Let's make it like one, maybe not. It's me maybe minus two, minus one, and minus uh, zero point two, zero point two. Okay, so let's make it okay here. And as you can see, we need minus zero point five. I think let's check it out. Minus zero point three, and yes, we get the result. So now it's uh, looks like uh, the same angle like a road. And as you can see, it looks like now more interesting. And let's make it more interesting than we have now. For example, you can put it here the stop, right? 
because uh, the car should be stopped here. Or you can put here the line, for example, like this one. So it's only up to you. Uh, also, you will find here really interesting thing like double line, for example, decking or, for example, the uh, line direction. So we will use one line direction here and the second line direction we will use on that side and I will rotate it. Let's rotate it. For example, now it's not perfect rotation, but you can rotate it with the numbers 90 degree and 90 degree more. And you just can write 180. So let's extend offset and let's put it here. Now, of course, you should extend it with the my line arrow. Let's extend it with the my line. Okay, and as you can see, this is really pretty cool. Now it looks like more interesting. You can go even more. Uh, for example, about the lines you understand. Here you will find some also, for example, parking, uh, some paint for the parking. You will find here the even manhole. For example, let's put one manhole here, so it's going more interesting and more realistic. And you will f find here, of course, the puddle and you will find some braking on the road, for example, this side. And I will use it here, right? I will just offset it and I will make it not so, uh, no, not so strange. I will make it like this, for example. And now it looks like more interesting. I should change my texture of the my road because the actually my texture of the road it's not uh, no it's not fit enough. So you, how you can do that? Just use the material picker. Just pick on the material and let's make the our section scale of the material like a one, maybe even two, maybe even five. Let's say I'll try five. Five it's close enough tree is close enough okay so and as you can see it's now re really really nice and interesting here we have like uh damage on the road we can even make it the, for example with the my color let's use it i want to see that one and i will increase apical of that and as you can see it's more interesting you can of course rotate it you can put it as you want but now your road becoming more and more realistic so let's go to the furniture and the calls again and what you will find here the more you will find also with the bamp so with the bamp it's more interesting because well, here is asphalt patching for example um, i think in your country it's also have the problem sometimes with the roads uh let's make it under the corner and let's make the offset like this and our patching will be a bit uh, disincrease opacity and as you can see it's more interesting you just should spend time because now it's more uh, artwork it's not architecture work it's more art but actually uh, architecture is also art so you can work with that more and more and improve for your road so you don't need to make it in Revit, you don't need to do it in 3 ds Max or you don't need to download some models, you can do right in the Twin Motion. That's why this one thing what I like in Twin Motion. I hope in one day it will be the same thing in uh, Lumen, but now they don't have it. So use it in Twin Motion and you will find it interesting. So guys, for today it's finish. Uh, finish your road with some decals make it more interesting and after that we will continue with the uh, people with the animation and with the grass on the our uh, project thank you guys for watching and see you next to support my channel you can go to gumroad check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.